just want to be with you. Thank you, Jesus, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table, surrounded by your glory, in your presence. That's where I always want to be. I just want to be with you For I want to be where you are Dwelling in your presence Feasting at your table Surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where i always want to be thank you jesus i just want to be with you i want to be where you are dwelling in your presence Sing at your table, surrounded by your glory, in your presence. That's where I always want to be. I just want to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For I want to be where you. to be where you are, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table, surrounded by your glory, in your presence, that's where I always want to be. just want to be I just want to be I just want to be with you hallelujah thank you Jesus we're gonna we're gonna pray one more time in relationship to what we were singing a while ago hallelujah Thank you, Lord Jesus. We can't otherwise I put our mind on God this morning. We want to be in His presence. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're going to pray one more time. We really want to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. We, we've, been, we've been entreated so many times. We have been so much entreated that we need to get into that place. Hallelujah. We need to draw up nearer. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad this month for the opportunity we have to come in his house to hear his word again. Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. We're all going to pray as we commit to ourselves one more time. Jesus, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In God's presence, there is fullness of joy at his right hand. A pleasure.
God, it's your presence that makes a difference, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord God. 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 Thank you, God. Your word is true, Lord. You said, if any man draw nigh unto you, draw nigh unto us, God. Thank you, God. I will worship you, Lord. You inhabit the praise of your people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord, God be glorified. Be that. Yeah. glorified Jesus be thou glorified Lord God for all the glory belongs to you thou art exalted on high creation shall praise thee and thus shall we bless thee Lord hallelujah and lift up our hands in your name God for your name is a strong and mighty tower hallelujah that the righteous can run into Lord God and be saved thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No one, no rock to cry in our place in the name of Jesus. No other gods, no other gods, no other gods, no other gods. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ, the true and living God, the one who is worthy. Yes, you're worthy, Jesus, every day, every hour, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Anointing fall on me.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He said, make a request known unto you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Ask anything in your name, believing. You're going to do it, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. So we pray for the anointing this morning. Hallelujah. To rest on us, God. To rest within us, God. To work within us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless your name, Jesus. I thank you this morning. I thank you that your power has set me free. I know, I know, I know that I have been set free by the grace of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 some thanks this morning worthy is the lamb worthy 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 hallelujah thank you jesus the same hymn number two hymn number two hallelujah hymn number two that's the name jesus thank you jesus thank you oh sweet the name of jesus Blessed be the name of the Lord. It soothes my sorrows, heal my wounds. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name.
Savior that I have found. Hallelujah and blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We'll have the scripture reading right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. The scripture reading is taken from Galatians 1, from verse 1 to 16. When you find it, please say amen. Paul, an, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the burden which are with him unto the churches of grace be to you and pre. who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from the evil world. Accord to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him. Which is not another, but there that trouble you, and would preserve but though he, an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto that, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye receive, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men, or God, or seek to please men? For if it please me, I should not be servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which I preach of me is not after man. For neither receive it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard of my son, and in time past, in the Jewish religion, how ye and I pursue we say I profit the Jews religion above many being more easy the loss of the treasures of my father and call me by his grace that I might preach him among the Immediately I want to flesh blood. Yeah. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I think there's more to it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just forgive the Lord. Thanks this morning. Hallelujah. For the opportunity to be in his house one more time. I am learning not to take life for granted. I don't know if anybody is doing that, but I am learning not to take life 
not a moment, not a second for granted. For one thing, the Bible says we have to give an account. Hallelujah. We have to give an account for the deeds that are done in our body. So we have to be conscious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome everybody in the house of the Lord this morning. And especially to our visitors. I see Mary. You know how much years I don't see Mary in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mary is in the house, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I see Sister Tamika's sister, I think it is. Yes, good to see you, Miss. You look like a foreigner this morning, you know. <laughs> good to have you in the house of the Lord. And to all our brethren, I don't know if there's any. I'm glad to have you, Miss. I, and I, I don't think it's the first time you're coming, but I, I don't know your name. But it's good to see you again in the house of the Lord. You are all of us today are together in one. We are part of the body. Hallelujah. Because Jesus died for all of us. And I want to encourage us today. I want to encourage us today to give God our best. Yes, man. Your very best. Nothing else not going to do. Nothing else not going to work. Got to give him everything. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're going to... What's the next? Remember? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, because we come out of the programs, I don't even remember what is the next step. But one more time, I say, Welcome! All of you in the house of the Lord this morning. And, and, and I think it's reason enough to give thanks, you know. If we should ever count our many blessings this morning, you say, Auntie Del in the house too. Auntie Del could walk it in, but she's in the house today. And we really want to give Aunt Sister Johnson. It's been a while, but it's so glad, to, so good, and so pleasant to have you in the house of the Lord this morning. Sister Queenie, may I have things, you know. Yes, yeah, I have things. But anyway, it's good to have all of you in the house of the Lord this morning. God is our Father and He loves us, everyone. And I want to encourage us. Give me your best, man. As I said before, me no, me no, I'm not necessary, no. Give Jesus your best. It is going to be worth it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Can we just jump to our feet and just lift up our hands to the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. Hallelujah. Marvelous. Miraculous. Magnificent. Compassionate. Unto the King eternal. Immortal. Invisible. The only wise God. Unto him only be honor, glory, dominion, and power. I'll praise the Lord forever for what he has done for me. He has done so much for me. And I'm grateful to him this morning. Hallelujah. And I'm just happy to be in his presence. Hallelujah. You know, we have often repeat the statement, which is truth, which says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And when you fully understand the scope of the, of the statement and all, truthful it is, and there is no error in that statement, those who are in Christ, this is assurance there is no gap in between even physical dead come. Hallelujah. It's just a translation. It's just a movement. Hallelujah. That's why it is important for no while we're in the flesh to dwell in the presence of God. It's just a rehearsal. But it is necessary, hallelujah, to dwell in the presence of God that when that sign comes, when is the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those who are but point in time will be alive and remain shall be caught up. Oh, what a singing. Oh, what a shouting. This is real. It's not no fairy tale. It's not no if or maybe. It is the way of the Lord. And we want to bask in his presence today. Amen. You may be seated for a while. Hallelujah. 
Amen. So good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I'm going to ask Sister Charlotte Hunter Graham to come. Amen. We're going to officially acknowledge our visitors that are here. Amen. And my heart is bubbling. Amen. Seeing some of our visitors and the extra bubble is coming from seeing Sister Dolores Harris in the house looking. She looked like Sweet 16 today. Amen. It's so good. Let's give our hands to Jesus for Sister Del being in the house of the Lord today. Amen. And all of the saints that are here, we greet in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus Christ. Something good is already happening. Hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth is not just passing by. He's lingering. You have to just hold on to him. Hallelujah. Latch on to him. Hallelujah. Though you're in your seat, I don't know where your mind, if you could just transfer your mind. Hallelujah. And put it at that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with Jesus. Let him have his way with you. Hallelujah. Say, Holy Spirit. Have thy own way upon my life today. Hallelujah. We are persons up here. Those on the left. My left. Those on the Wherever you are, God is there. Hallelujah. Just entertain his presence. Just focus on Jesus today. And I put it to you. All that you need in Jesus Christ today, you will have. There are some things that you can't fix. Some things that Bernie, there's no way with my human capability I can fix. Some things money can't fix. And money sometimes is an issue for some of us. Hallelujah. Some things doctors can't fix. Hallelujah. Some things counseling is good, but there are some things that only God himself can fix. So it behoves us today to cast your burden upon him is not a counselor who lord or she again lord or him again not central never busy always available so cast your cares upon him so i put it to you today take all the weight of the burden that you have maybe some of you don't have any but cast it to jesus and they spend the next few minutes, hours, whatever time we spend here today, to just focus on Jesus. And I can give you the assurance that if you cast your burdens upon Jesus, and just lay it aside, and just focus solely on him. And when you focus on him, we're not focus on him looking behind our shoulders to see what is happening. Just focus on him. I can give you the assurance before this service comes to a close. God is going to just take care of all the things that you cast upon him. Amen. Our Sunday school director is coming after which we collect today's tithes and offering. And we'll have an abbreviated testimony and then we'll go into the word. Amen. God bless her. Bless the Lord, everybody. Greetings in the exalted name of Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. Greetings is also extended on behalf of our pastor, Andrew Mitchell, our assistant pastor, Eunice Mitchell, and the saints of the First United Pentecostal Church of Jesus Christ. We are very glad and happy today to have our visitors worship with the Lord with us. And when I call your names, you can stand and give a shout of praise. Or if you're shy or not bold enough, you can sit and shout hallelujah and raise your hands. Amen. Bless the Lord. So we have with us today Mary Campbell from Trimmelsworth. Bless the Lord. And might I say that Mary Campbell and I, we go back way, 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 way back. Many years ago, we were actually classmates in high school. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And we also have Deshanel Cameron from Sunside District worshiping the Lord with us today. Bless the Lord. 
And to all those who are here that um, have been coming on, on and off, we just want to give the Lord thanks that you are here today worshiping the Lord with us. And we do consider that you would submit your life to the Lord by repenting of your sins, baptizing in Jesus' name, and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. And yes, you are well able to make it. With Christ inside of you, you are more than conquerors. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm supposed to be feeling younger, but as Sister Shurnett's utterance, I'm, I have to revisit my age. But I know Mary to be my daughter. Amen. And I know Mary before she was born. Amen. And she is the daughter of Sister Joyce. Is Sister Joyce here? Amen. And Mary, we love you. I love you so much. It is so good to be in the house of the Lord. I now know that she is someone who keeps her promise. Amen. She may make the promise months in advance, but she eventually keeps the promise. Amen. God bless you for coming. Amen. We're going to stand together. We're going to collect today's tithes and offering. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to ask Brother Vivian Owell to pray. And I'm going to ask Brother Craig to come and sing a song for us. Hallelujah, bar heads. Amen. Amen. Come, Brother Craig. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Would you just clap your hands, everybody? Bless the Lord, everybody. Glory to God, glory. Would you bless the Lord, everybody? Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Woo! Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. I, I love my old songs, trust me. Me now move from it. Neither the ancient landmark. I will not move from it. No matter what the enemy do, rest there. I'm so tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls me, calls me away. Oh, yeah, where the morning is bright, where the Lamb is. The light of the night is a fear, fear as the day. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there'll be peace in the valley for me. Oh, someday there'll be peace, peace in the valley for me. There'll be no sickness, oh, no sorrow, oh, no troubles I see. There'll be peace, peace in the valley for me. Oh, where the lion will be gentle and the wolf will be tame. And the lion will lay down beside the lamb. And the beast from the wild will be held by a child. And I'll change from that creature 
that I am. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Baby, peace in the valley for me. Oh, someday. Baby, peace, peace in the valley for me. Oh, Lord, I pray. Hey, in our sickness, oh, no sorrow, all our troubles, I see, there be peace, peace in the valley for me. The lion will be tender, and the wolf will be tamed, and the lion On the word there will be peace in the valley for me someday there will be peace in the valley for me Lord I pray there will be no sadness no sorrow no trouble I see there will be peace in the valley for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. We're going to have a few testimonies. We're going to begin with Sister Del. Amen, Sister Del. So good to have you in the house of the Lord. I'm so glad this morning to be in God's service one more time. 
You know, the song said he didn't have to make me live. But I'm glad to be in God's service one more time. This morning I want to proclaim victory in the name of Jesus. God has been so good to me. The fact that I'm alive and can be here this morning to give a testimony, that is enough. I want to greet each and every one in the name of Jesus. You know, it's so long I've not been in the house of God. You know, sometimes I cry. You know, when I look and see that I want to come, and sometimes when a woman hears the service, you know, my heart bleeds. I want to come to church, but can't walk. You know, my foot, you know, my feet. The doctor said he's, he's nerves, but it's true. But when I, last week I got back to the doctor, the doctor said he's nerves. My nerves get bad. And the sugar and the pressure just match up everything. I can't walk. And brethren, I'm here this morning only by the mercies of God. Yes. You know, brother Andrew come and he called me and tell me that he want me to be in church this morning. And I said, yes, I'm longing to come. And this morning, do you believe me, I wake from 4 o'clock. From 4 o'clock, I wake up and do what I have to do and go to the bathroom. And when, when I get ready, then not even like a breakfast, then give me to come. Because, you know, they are saying that I can't manage and what whatever all comes I want to come to church but I said I want to be in church this morning and I'm so glad you know when I I can't even see you know my eyes them get bad I went to the doctor and them said that they in not doing any look after it and send me to a doctor to go and operate on the high but when when he te told me the price it was three hundred thousand and I said doctor I don't even have that to eat much less to go do high so he gave me a letter to go to one of the hospitals. And when I go, it's the same time the corona come down and them give me an appointment for November. I know November don't come. So I said, it, it, it must be the will of God. You know, I glimpsed, because I'm sitting down here and I see the board up there, but you know, I can't see good. And I wash my clothes then. You would like to see me sit down in the bathroom and watch. You wouldn't believe that. Is me watch them. So I'm giving God thanks. Yes. The most important thing that I'm alive and I have breath, I can worship and see God more in my life. This morning I really want to worship God and I remember where God has taken me from. It's a mighty long way. I've got through many things. You know, sometimes I'm there, I'm nothing to eat, but God has taught me and see me through. And this morning I have so much to give God thanks for. I remember when I just get saved, God has been so good to me. When I just get saved, I come to church and I worship and I give God thanks. And this morning I'm here to worship him. Yes. Although the hands are so weak, my body is so weak, but I'm here this morning. I just want to give God thanks because God has really been so good to me. My desire and my heart is ever to live for Jesus. I want to stay with him. I cannot work again. The work that I used to do for the Lord, I cannot manage. But if even anybody come at my home, I would say, I'm inviting you to church. And we say, Miss Delo, you're not going to church and you're inviting me. say, you go on, man. Go, go. And when you go, tell him, say, Sister Del, send you come. And this morning, I just want to say, thank you, Jesus, for helping me to be here this morning. May God bless you, and I'm asking you to pray for me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. I am glad to be here this morning. Even though the doctor said that my heart overswell and other things with the heart, but I'm not listening to the doctor. But in Jesus' name, I will go on. Because he is the master. He is my healer. He is a miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. He never fail. Never, never. I want to sing this song. Why should I feel this courage? And why should a shadow come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heavenly home? When Jesus is my portion, 
a constant friend is he is I is a sparrow strong neither but in Jesus name I will go on I can't do no I call my brother and I'll tell him that I need his help he said to me that my brother don't talk about no work for you cannot work again but in Jesus name he will supply my need Jesus I wake up this morning and he woke me up this morning. This day they didn't promise turn of us, but I am here. You know, I get up this morning, you know, that eye problem. Sometimes it is very foggy. And this morning is one of them. But, you know, I, Raquel used to, you know, take care of me. She did not call me and say she's not coming. But to say I'm here because, you know, I want to be here and God lead me. Across the road, he lead me across the road. And I know going to lead me back. And I just want no one want to come. I want to come for a blessing. Uh, he had already talked in Sunday school, and I know he's going to talk in the midday service. Every time I come, I must expect something. I just want to expect something. I, I, want, to, I want more of him. Sin a friend, you are here. Let us come. Come to Jesus. My grandson of a weird he said, I don't know where I get it from. But he said, now talk to me. Talk to Jesus. Talk to God. Sometimes it seems like you can a problem up. You know where to turn. But turn to Jesus. I know this Sunday school I met it about hungry. Me know about hungry. With my four children here. Mother, I don't know if I'm talking to any single parents here today. You yes, say that you can't you can't come because this and that. I came, it wasn't easy. I came and I make it true. Sometimes I feel like I can't come, you know. You know, you feel down, down. Come here hungry. More time I come here, I'm four putting them hungry. And by the time I go home, God provide. You know, have the right clothes, but God provide. In you know how to dress you. And sometimes we don't want, we don't want God to dress you, you know. We want to dress yourself. But let me tell you something. This dressing is for God. When you come to God, God will lead you. God will dress you up as though you want to dress you. So nobody want to do it yourself. And nobody say you can't. Come and then we do the rest in Jesus' name. I can recommend my Lord to anyone. I can recommend my Lord. 
from you through the spoken word I pray for your strength I pray for your anointing for your direction I am your son these are all your people and you have brought them here for such a time as this and I pray that you just do what you know to do best and help me not to put self in between. And we come against the plot, the plan of the devil who remains a liar. And we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your word shall accomplish that which is set forth to do. I pray that hearts will be changed today. Minds will be restored today. Lord, doubts in mind will go. Hallelujah. And that we live here revive. For those who have not received the Holy Ghost, they'll do so. Let it be another Cornelius experience today that while Peter yet spake, that the Holy Ghost pour out. Oh God, upon their faith and submission to you, we give a thanks again in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I'm going to read to us from the book of St. Luke, chapter 24, verse 46 to 49. Amen. St. Luke, chapter 24, amen. verse 46 to 49. Amen. I, I can share and identify with the testimonies. I was such a little boy coming to church and used to hear Sister Dell testify about the goodness of God. And I'm a big man now, and she's still testifying about the goodness of God. Isn't that wonderful? I grew up here in Sister Bev testifying. Well, one time, Mama never used to testify much before she got the Holy Ghost. Amen. But we give God thanks for the testimony of the saints. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He said, and said unto them, Thus it is written, 
Let's read together. And thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached. So there's an instruction, you know. After giving us a summary that he died and he rose on the third day. Having done that, repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. Yes, it is, was to begin at Jerusalem, but it must reach all nations. Next verse. And ye are witnesses of these things. Verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until he be endued with the power on I. If the Lord tarries and all being well, and maybe the second or third week of October, and that is if the Lord tarries and things remain the same, I should be traveling overseas. And I still remember to date when I took an opportunity to leave the department I was working with at the time with all intention to get closer to Highgate and left out trusting God. And I was so deliberate in my actions that I ensured that I didn't renew my visa. I watched it go and pass. So that pre adventure they called me back, Sister Evans, as they were doing. I'll be able to say, I can't serve in the department because I don't have a valid visa. Well, as the Lord would have it, with all the happenings from last year with Pastor passing on and everything that happened afterward, I am um, back in the environment and um, I take it not for granted that God is having his way and I'm saying all this deliberately because for the past few weeks I have been back and forth with councils of embassies in Jamaica because different persons are going to different locations and the transit between country here and there and in the process, I had to go and locate my passport. I have to check if the passport is valid. One of the embassy, not yours, one of the embassies made mention that even if they were to grant the visa, your passport cannot expire within certain time of the visa being granted. So I have to check the validity of the passport. Then the passport size pictures that I had before were no longer valid because I have aged since. I remember when I went to one of the, one of the embassies on Friday, the young one was looking at the old picture and looking at me and says, it really you? To ensure that to go to the foreign land, I can't go through no back door. I can't take no side deal. The passport has to be valid then the visa has to be valid. And there's a process to get the passport. And there's a process to get the visa. 
And yes, it may require some little form of interrogation or questioning, some documentation of the be there to authenticate who you are and the purpose of your trouble. I want to share with us today as I segment into the word that we are indeed living in the last and closing days. And if ever a time we need to check our passport is now. If ever a time we need to check our visa is now. If ever a time we need to ensure that there are pages in our passport so that immigration can have a space to stamp is now. And the scripture we just read, it told us about Christ's death burial and resurrection and the fact that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations it doesn't matter who you are what family bloodline you're from whether you're in university whether you're in high school whether you're in primary school, whether you have out of school, in fact, whether you are well educated or just barely literate, what is important, hallelujah, is to ensure that your calling and election is sure. And it doesn't matter what you want, it's not an opinion, hallelujah, you must be born again. And you must receive salvation. I sent a text message to someone recently. Someone who visited our sanctuary. I'm not seeing the person today. We'd hope that the individual would attend today. And I was saying to the individual, and I was deliberate in that we miss you. A church. But I wanted the individual to know that in as much as we generally miss you at church, I want you to know because I know this person is between parishes that wherever you go, you must understand the essentials of salvation. And it requires repentance. Baptism, baptism in Jesus' name and in filling of the Holy Ghost. The individual is not yet baptized or filled. But I want the person to know that wherever you go on the face of the earth, to access salvation is the same method. Hallelujah! Is the same passport option. And the same immigration for your visa to be stamped in your passport. This morning on my way back from the home coming to church, I saw someone who used to sing on the choir. Hallelujah. Someone who used to be involved in church. And I saw the person, hallelujah, someone who left, hallelujah, their first love, backslidden, Hallelujah. But in the course of trying to find back their way, the person have gone elsewhere. And I know I was worried about setting up the camera and all the things necessary. And I said, I can't pass this person. Hallelujah. I have to try and intervene. Hallelujah. And I reversed the car. It took a while because of where it was positioned. But when I got a chance, I beckoned to the person to come over. And I was saying to the person, hallelujah. Do you remember being baptized in Jesus' name? The individual said yes. Do you remember receiving the Holy Ghost? The individual says yes. And I said, where you are going now, do they believe 
that baptism in Jesus' name is necessary. And I said, do they believe that receiving the Holy Ghost is necessary? And, and I went on further to say, do they believe that all individuals must receive the Holy Ghost? And the person said, well, some of them speak in tongues, but I don't think that everybody should get it. And I asked the person, and I started to quote some scripture. And the person started to help me quote the scriptures. Uh, some of which with the help of God I hope to go through today. And it pains my heart. Uh, that that individual once walked with God. Hallelujah. Fell down. And I can tell you as a church. Uh, we have reached out to that individual multiple times. Uh, it's not one of those cases. Uh, where he, he or she was left uh, on the side way. But unfortunately, in trying to find a way back, I can want to say to persons today, you can't go around the business of holiness. It is holiness without which no man shall see God. It doesn't matter where else you go, how comfortable you think you are, you must come back to the way of the apostles' doctrine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to use wisdom. My heart is paining. And I'm not writing off anyone. God has not given me that authority to write off anyone. But I want to encourage all of us today. Those of us who are parents, husbands, wives, if any other time we need to sit down in your own house and go over the scriptures with your family to ensure that they are rooted in the word of God. Because some of the things I heard this morning, I was trying to find out where, where this person come from. I mean, I know where the individual is from, but... How could you be saying such things? And as I started to quote the scriptures, Sister Jackie, the person started to complete the scriptures with me. And I realized that it's the plan of the enemy. And I asked the person, so wherever you're going, do, do they embrace the full truth or part of the truth? And the individual was saying part of the truth. And I said, are you more comfortable going somewhere where it's just part of the truth or going where there's full truth? And I could not get an answer. But Jesus is still the answer. And if there's only one way, hallelujah, for us to make it in the rapture, we must repent of our sins. We must be baptized in that holy name of Jesus Christ. We must receive the Holy Ghost and stay in the pathway of righteousness. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. You have a word quickly with me, sister Jamila. It says, but he shall receive power. Let's read together. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And he shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and the utmost part of the earth. It was a promise given. And all of us, well, let me not say all of us again. Gone are the days when every apostolic would be able to recite Acts 2, 38. And I won't put you on the stand today. But he said, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Everyone, not some. There were Jews gathered from all around the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they would have married other people from other nations and come in. So when they were addressed, it was all nation. Hallelujah. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So this promise is to everyone. It's for every nation. It's for black man, Indian, Chinese. Russian, Norway, every nation must know that you must repent 
and be baptized in the name of Jesus. In the book of Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Hallelujah. 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 Neither is there salvation in any other. You cannot go elsewhere or access it by any other means. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven. Hallelujah. Are not we human race? There is no other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. So salvation cometh only through the name of Jesus Christ. And we have to accept it. We have to have it applied. We have to believe it. We have to teach it. We can't deviate from it. Because there is no other name given whereby we must be saved. So any other pathway come up, it's going to lead to destruction. Other pathway may have things that look like it. Things like act like it. But there is only one pathway. We read earlier the book of Acts, Galatians, rather, chapter 1. And we're going to examine it again. Galatians, chapter 1. Paul an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ. We have to examine that verse, you know. But if you don't understand the verse, you become a binary here and be like, there's two gods. Because he's saying, by Jesus Christ and God the Father. He's not entertaining any thought that Jesus Christ is on this left. And God the Father is on the right. He's talking about the same person. How many of times you have heard me speak about my father and my pastor, Zedekiah Mitchell? He's still one person. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Grace be unto you. And again. And peace from God the Father. And the Father who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who gave himself. So if he was talking about two. He would have said who gave themselves. But he said who gave himself for our sins. That he might deliver us. Why him say present evil world and he never lived to see now? Present evil world. The things Paul saw was so crazy that he said evil. According to the will of God and our Father. To whom be glory forever and ever. Then I'm going to the meet on the matter and greet them greetings i greet blessings bless up after i'm greet them he went to the meet of the matter he said i marvel that you are so soon removed is it from him or them let me search a little bit from him that called you into the grace of christ unto another which is not even another part of the one even recognize it but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Any deviation from this doctrine is a perversion of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Paul, remember he introduced himself? Not of man, neither by men. He said, but though we call to the attention of those around him, 
or even an angel from heaven. Mark you, when Satan, Lucifer, was trying to challenge God for authority, and God dethroned him, move him from out of the heavenlies, he was able to get almost a third of the angelic host to come with him. And there's no scripture anywhere to suggest that any more angels have since decided to join Satan. So when Paul was talking in a position of authority, not questioning but making a statement that if evil me, Paul, or even an angel from heaven, those who would have seen Christ at Calvary, and seen the crucifixion and know the gospel of salvation if anybody preach any gospel unto you than that which we have preached let him be a curse be careful that you're not listening from the accursed lips be careful that you're not drawn away to the accursed things because if any man or even an angel preach any other gospel let him be a curse. And just in case they never get it good, because these are letters written. He said, As we said before, so say I know again. If any man pre if you never hear first time, I repeat it. Preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received. Let him be a curse. And he went on to speak why. And he told him that the gospel that he... Can we read it a little? Verse 10, quickly. For do I know persuade men are God? Or do I seek to please men? For in a, in a man pleasing business, this, you know? Is the matter of the heart and the soul. Hallelujah. For if I yet please men... He doesn't qualify to be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For neither receive it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. You know, no matter talk about there, sir. He was Saul, who was a Pharisee of the stock of Israel. The tribe of Benjamin, who was circumcised the eighth day, got everything right according to the law and commandments. And when he saw the people moving and talking about Jesus, it hurt his heart, it pained his heart, and he thought he was doing good because he was raged in the way of the law. And for that time, it was necessary. But in little did we know that the fullness of time was come. And God has sent forth his son made of a woman. And he said, so at that time, he was persecuting the church. And when Jesus withstood him, it was the flesh. Physically, he saw Jesus. He heard the voice of God. Listen this. He heard the voice of God. And the one thing those Jews know, he wrote Israel, the Lord, that God is what? Nothing else. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, the one God? What that one God? Who are you? I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. That's why when he was talking now, he said, it's Jesus taught me himself. I got the revelation. By the way, if we get any revelation now, you have to line up back with the Bible, you know. But no one nobody leave here and go say they don't Paul and John and they get a vision. I get any new interpretation. Amen. You must line up back with the Bible. Amen. But I know we won't get that. Amen. Where was I again? At verse 13, for you have heard, thank you so good of my conversation in the time past, in the Jews' religion. All that beyond measure, 
him tone it down, you know. He said, beyond measure. He should not make it more graphic. I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. And profited nothing in the Jews' religion. But when it pleased God, who oh, separate me from it, that's how we can write off nobody. You see all the judge and man who said I'm a bond this and bond that. Just pray for them, man. Pray for them. So he was indicating that it profited nothing. I don't know if stubborn Paul was stubborn. Further mentioned in the same verse that same book that after receiving this revelation immediately conferred the natural flesh and blood and he went in the Arabian desert for three years imagine he was taught to go this way and he was killing and willing to kill for this way and he was faced with a dilemma because what he thought was right God himself revealed he said if you can't trouble the name of Jesus you know you can't fight the name of Jesus, you know. Because he was disturbed by the Jesus only people. He was getting them stoned and get letter to get them stripped and beaten. And when he was going, he said, who art thou, Lord? And I'm repeating, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. So he got it. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Going quickly. Ephesians 2, verse 20. So Mary wants you to get it. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Hold on there now. Your prophets, and then came Jesus, and then came apostles, and there's a unification of purpose, and are now built upon the foundation. What's the foundation? Hero Israel. No matter where you go, Hero Israel. The Lord our God is what? Jesus Christ Himself being the what? Chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. First Timothy 1 verse 3. First Timothy 1 verse 3. I want to rush, but I'll go slowly. First Timothy 1 verse 3. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus. When I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine. Teach no other doctrine. Let me lose myself and find it, Lord, in thee. It's when you're among your family and your workplace and your friends. Because not all our friends are members of the church. In fact, they may in some members, some of us, the first person we call not a saint. Not knocking you for that either. But you see, when there are discussion going on, make sure that you do not in one way, shape, or form contribute to the teaching of another doctrine. It better you shut up your mouth. Ensure that you don't contribute because you don't want to look like you're different. You don't want to be labeled as a Jesus only. You don't want people to say, oh, you're going like you alone, holy of holies. Uh, 
I own alone I go to heaven. I don't believe we are alone going to heaven. I believe that those who repent of their sins, those who are baptized in Jesus' name, those who receive the Holy Ghost, when you're silent, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, and walk the straight and narrow way, they will go to heaven, without which no man shall see Christ. Ensure you don't contribute to sending someone else to a doctrine of perversion. It can't be halfway. It can't be three quarter away. Hallelujah. It has to be 100%. No dilution. No pollution. No new I am the word, the truth, and the life. Only one way. Only go song go. One, one, one. One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God. Baptize. Listen. Every now have no holy part doors open. We can pick, choose, and refuse. Can you imagine, Mother Craig? All right. We don't want to keep up to this and holiness. So, again, go through the, and everybody end up the same place. Can't work. One way, one door, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. I hope He's in us all and through us all. Jesus Christ. The express image of the invisible God. Any other door can lead to hell. Maybe hell has multiple doors, but heaven has one door. Are you now no window to climb into? Jamaicans can't scam your way into heaven. Having the seal of approval, the Holy Ghost, the Lord, no, the, the Lord who, the Lord Jesus Christ, who Paul was persecuting, he knew it, them that are his. I hear the agricultural is a minister, a junior minister, one of them, talking about the ticket and put on the ears of the cattle to try and. Scale back on, you know, help, help scale back on pre that last knee so that they can tag the animals to find out. Well, I have no tagging in my ears, but imprinted upon my heart is the name of, take the name of Jesus with you. Child of sorrows, it will joy and comfort give you. Take it to your workplace. Take it to the taxi. Take it on the bus. You're going to the supermarket. You don't have enough money. Go with the name of Jesus. You're going to the doctor. You can't pay the bill. Go with the name of Jesus. Trouble in the house. Take the name of Jesus. Trouble on the left. Say the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I must have hallelujah the savior with me i want to stay on the street but i must have the savior with me i dare not walk alone hallelujah i can't leave the presence of god at home i have to walk with the presence of god for just to walk with him 
means everything to me. Hallelujah. Just of the assurance that is there with you. I grew up hearing songs like I am going through with Jesus. I am going through. Hallelujah. I'll pay the price. Because I'm taking the name of Jesus with me. For there is coming a day. Will there be no more sorrows, no more sickness, no more pain. It will be peace forevermore. No more blood pressure. Peace in the presence of the Almighty God. Don't leave Jesus at your home. In fact, don't leave him in this rectangular wall called church. Take Jesus with you. You can't afford to live outside of Christ. You can't afford to live without Christ. It's the most risky lifestyle one can ever live. Without Christ. He's such a loving God. Such a caring God. Hallelujah. That wherever you are. He's going to find you. He's going to extend his hand. He's not coming to say, I catch you now against sin or go hell. No, he's coming to say, Don't your sins be as scarlet. Don't the world throw you away and condemn you. I am still here. Hallelujah. I still love you. My name is still Jesus. It means salvation. It gives life eternal. Come on to me today. And I'll give you rest from sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to do, I'm going to cut and make an altar appeal now. With the help of God, I hope to really go through and finish this lesson. Hallelujah. But there's someone here today who God is extending his hand to you to come to take the name of Jesus with you. To come and bask in the name of Jesus. To come and take the pathway of salvation. Can you have this removed, please? God doesn't need a perfect situation to save someone. Many times we spend a lot of times trying to fix up. And if we're not careful, when we look on others, we think that there's a path for they have to go, to come. And God forbid we might have judged Sister Kashika saying, boy, is she, she? Based on what we know, it can take a long time. There is no situation that is too rotten that God can't change around. It is no secret what God can do. What he has done for others is not my testimony but our pastor as I've often said it. He used to gamble. He used to smoke. He used to womanize. He used to curse all the Pentecostal people. Eh? Things are mad people. Eh? until he got in contact with Jesus. He was on his way to commit suicide. God turned him around, bring him back to the altar of the same mad people. Who was mad? Can madness meet madness? Hallelujah. Salvation in part. And his life was changed forever. 
Is there one today who want to come to the fountain of life? The Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Is there one today? I think I still have it. Hallelujah. See my passport here. Still valid. Hallelujah. The other page with other thing that they stamp. Valid. There was a point in time that I couldn't use it beyond just identification. But I settled the whole account. Is your passport ready? Is it stamped with a seal? If the Lord should put in his appearance today, are you ready to go with him? Is your life at the stage where God and you are in unison? The altar is still open. Maybe I'm Father Noah today. Noah built the ark. Driving those nails in the ark. Pitch it in and out. It seems ridiculous at the time. Because they weren't accustomed to the showers of rain. They didn't realize the calamity that was coming. And as he built, I don't know if he was discouraged, Brother Lindo. Building and nobody coming in. Nobody seemed to want to come in. But the ark is still open. God has the key. And there's room at the cross for you. Though millions have passed, there's still room for one. Is there one today? Is there one today? Unless all of us here are saying our passport is fully okay and our visa is fully okay and the pages of righteousness is okay is there one today God bless you for coming. Hallelujah. The Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Why won't you let him come in? Please receive him and all your darkness will end so what will your answer to Jesus be for time after time he has waited before, oh, and now he 
is waiting again. He's waiting to see if you're willing to open. I can turn and look at Noah again and we sing. This church, with the help of God, is not a nominal church. We sing, which is necessary. We clap on and shout, which is necessary. By the end of the day, we're interested in people getting it right to make it in the rapture. We don't want people to turn up and hear the part from me. I know you're not. Hallelujah. We're interested in your well-being more than anything else. Hallelujah. This thing is real. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. If you know your passport and visa, Need verification. But you say, I don't want them to see me go up at the altar. Because you got things that will commit some big sin. We measure sin, you know. By the way, some sin bring more reproach, I know that. But we measure sin. When all have sin. But someday your soul will be asking, Neutral, you cannot be, you know. For time after time, he has waited before, and now he is waiting again. Is waiting to see if you're willing to open your door. Oh, how he wants to come in. Oh, for time. After time, he has waited before, and now he is waiting again. He's waiting to see if you're willing to open.
with your willing to open your door. Oh, how he wants to. I remember recently I had to go to a, a hotel, a resort. It was initially work related and but because of the duration of the time you did a lot of stuff and the hotels have what they call bell up or bellman and their course of training is that once a guest arrive they should well, they're the first people you meet on the security at the gate. They should welcome you. Before you go to the front desk or register, the bellman, bellman come, they greet you, and they ask you, can I assist you with your luggage? You know Jamaicans are? When you go to these hotels, if you're not speaking a little tongue, and your skin look like mine, bellman stay apart and look. And if you make any noise, they're ready to curse you off. If the person sees that again, give them a tip, they may come. And if maybe you and a foreigner come at the same time, and the, the, the person sees that the, the, the currency is stronger than their dollar, and that we mean Jamaicans, they will rush to. And at one point, I'd ask the front desk, that is it, an, is it optional for the bellmen to assist? Or do they have a choice or, you know, because they would have seen me struggling. And they just look at me, make an evaluation. Chum. We are God's bellman today. I believe with a word like this today, there are persons, even their seat, who needs a helping hand. We're not asking you to force God. When Bellman go, Bellman asks, may I help you? Are you willing to move to someone today and ask them, may I pray with you at the altar? Do we have a burden for souls? So that they too can come into this salvation and receive this wonderful salvation. Hallelujah. Don't turn him away, away. Don't turn him. Away, or turn not the Savior away from the door. Though you have gone astray, ask the Savior to be your guide. On the judgment day, turn not the Savior away the door. Oh, 
stand and pray and bring our service to our close go to see your sister Parks you know all of us myself included we can take the word of God for granted and, and if you examine it sister John John it's not that you necessary consciously taking it for granted but by your action you do you have heard messages like this before and you go home and everything you have a little a conviction come on and you go you never respond and you go home and then no no man you're, you're Chris you know so we're in, our doctrine is not predicated on scare so something do have to happen dangerous to you for you to run. Your coming to Jesus should be out of love. But there is a danger in delay and procrastinating. So the last time I come by the box and I feel a tug even heavier than today. I'm going to never give in to God. And I say, me, all right. Me, I meet in an accident and God protect me. He you doesn't know, say, me, all right, say me. Visa no sort out yet. Passport no sort out yet. I never come plan for that today. Some other convenient time. Maybe you're planning your mind, you know. When, when, when you're going to fix things up, Mama Bev. I heard Sister Bev told us in her little documentary series. That when she decided to come to Jesus... She leave everything behind. No, so you tell us, Mama Bev, that she wasn't going to look back. She can now see when I look back and see where God has brought her from. It's a mighty long way. But she can sing with victory. So yes, you have heard the word before. And yes, you delay before. My message to you today, don't delay. But you don't understand, Mr. Preacher. I have this to do. I have this, my life need to sort out. The time we are taking to sort our life out, that we can't sort out. Satan has whole more things pile up. And when you think you take one step forward, it's almost like you got ten steps backward. Now is the acceptable time to make that decision. So we're going to pray at this time and pray that those who are in Christ remain in Christ. I come in, I come in Sister Doris. One more appeal. One more appeal. The altar is still open. The altar is still open. In the name of Jesus Christ, the altar is still open. The altar is still open. The gateway to righteousness is still open. The gateway to eternal life is still open. 
The altar is still open. The altar is still open. Jesus. 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 Mercy is still available. Mercy is still available. Jesus. 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 Can someone really get a burden? Jesus. The altar is still open. The altar is still open. Jesus. 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 If you only come, if you only come, if you only come, if you only come, hallelujah, hallelujah, if you only come, if you only come. If you only come, Jesus, Jesus, those who can pray, really pray if you feel what is happening in this atmosphere, those who can pray and cry out, pray and cry out to Jesus right now, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to ask Sister Jackie and those of the prayer team to just walk around and just pray and plead the blood of Jesus. Others can join in. Just, just walk around and pray and plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. You may have to have your eyes open. Just walk around in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus is calling today. Jesus is calling is calling is calling today hallelujah calling today calling today jesus is calling is calling is calling today calling today calling today Jesus is calling calling is calling today let's all stand together hallelujah so you hallelujah can you amen i'm gonna ask her to say what is on her heart and then close us off in prayer i just want to say praise god to everybody see you see this arm service here is not an ordinary one Bishop Johnson have a nephew, and um, he came to the service, something like this. 
and two more, a couple. I don't know if you hear it over here or in Kalina, but the Neville was there. And the pleading that he was saying, come, come man, if you don't even want to get saved today, come. The same one that was there, God is speaking to somebody today. Yes. It's not an ordinary service. It's not an ordinary one. Brethren and friends, take it as I tell you. The Lord is speaking. Is not the pastor you stand up here. Use him. And if you are there today and need prayer, I'm going to tell you what prayer can do. They never, never come. He was the one that driving the bus to Otrias, Montego Bay. He was the one that get killed. He was the one that get killed. He never stepped for prayer. Prayer is the key. You see, you're going out back out there. You be, oh, I want to invite you all up. I want to invite you all up. Something is at the tail. And you never know what is going to happen. Judgment breed today. He was the one that got killed. He was the one that died on the spot. Because prayer not have no use for him. If you have something to say to God, say it today. It's not an ordinary service. God turned me back upon it a while ago. He preached out his life and sing. The best friend to us is Jesus. The best friend to us is Jesus. The best friend to us is Jesus. What are we waiting for? What do you want in the world? You came and you're going back like how you come. Even worse. You see this message here? It don't fall. I know that something is happening, you know. Some people some making stuck so long. I'm a one, go home now. Why? Me one, go home. But you know what? What you have in your heart today? Pour it out to God and ask the forgiveness. And tell him that you're not going home back like how I came. Hallelujah. I must give God my heart today. Jesus. Hallelujah. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Everybody pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm begging for mercy. I'm pleading for mercy. I'm pleading for mercy. 
and plead for mercy. Jesus Christ, my Savior. Have mercy, Jesus. The eyes of God is watching us. The Lord is watching his children. If you hear the news, this is the best news ever here. The word of God is the best news. Best news. Our life is not our home. Jesus. Help everyone here today. Give us a heart of conviction. My God of mercy, Jesus. Backward. I'm praying that you'll help us to go forward. Forward still. Teach the harvest me. Though the billows dash and stray. But the conquering trade. I push ahead and roll the sea away. Send the anointing, Jesus. Let somebody go home with something in their heart to turn around. Victory, Jesus, my Savior forever. Jesus. Be with all of us today. We don't know about later. We don't know about tomorrow. Jesus. Tomorrow may never come. Jesus of mercy. Take my life and let it be. Consecrated. Lord to thee. Take my moments on my days. Let them flow in sinless praise. Be with all of us today. We need you, Jesus. The devil is fighting. But they can't fight Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing my prayers. Break down every hide all that people are carrying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of thine own way today, Lord. Help us to realize that you're coming again. With your hands full of reward. Every man, every boy, every girl, corners as work shall be. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I would like everybody to say, say thank you, Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus.